Hello again. The 2021 census revealed something very interesting, which is that there are far fewer gay men and lesbians in this country than has been claimed. For years it was suggested that between 5 and 10% of the population were gay and that this orientation was far more common than anybody suspected. During the census in Britain a couple of years ago, the truth came out that just 1.5% of the population say they are gay. That's something like three quarters of a million people. The previous year, though, the Environment Agency sold 1,019,723 individual freshwater rod licenses, meaning that there are far more anglers in this country than there are homosexuals. Homosexuality is very much by way of being a minority interest. Not that it matters much these days, of course. I enjoy heterosexual intercourse, but a tiny percentage of the population prefers sodomy and cunnilingus. This hardly seems important to me, and yet, judging by the number of rainbows all over the place at the moment, it is a big thing with those who favour this way of life. By the by, this is why gays have recruited so many other people who enjoy variant sexual practices into the movement in order to bulk up the numbers a little and allow them to pose as a big movement, a mass movement. Let's face it, 1.5% of the population is a very small proportion of people in Britain and so they've added the BTQ plus stuff so that they can claim that all the transsexuals and so on are also in their gang which is, of course, where the great confrontation between men who are posing as women and real women started, with transsexuals seeing themselves as the spearhead of the new sexual revolution. When gay pride was just about gay men and lesbians, there was not this bitter confrontation, and every day now we see it some new row about transphobia, TERFs, JK Rowling, men entering women's sporting competitions and so on, and it all comes under the general banner of the LGBTQ plus brand. It has become a militant movement now with transsexuals at the forefront. Mind, nobody knows how many transsexuals there are in this country, because the question in the census about this was so misleading that a lot of people didn't understand it. The result is that according to the census, there are more transsexuals in the London borough of Newham than there are in Brighton. Those collating the results of the census discovered that people who speak English as a second language are more likely to be transsexuals, as are those with the lowest educational qualifications, which is counterintuitive. What happened during the census, of course, is that faced with the question is the gender you identify with the same as your sex registered at birth? A lot of people with poor English skills were baffled and answered at random. This is why both Newham and the London Borough of Brent, both with many foreigners living there, registered so many transsexuals. The whole gay business seems to me to have spiralled out of control. There certainly was a time many years ago when gay men were persecuted. That was a very long time ago now, and we can probably forget about it. Is it really too much to hope for that now we all agree that gay men and lesbians can just get on and live their lives as they please, just like us heterosexuals, we can simply stop talking so much about sexual orientation and waving rainbow flags all over the place? I, for one, am beginning to find it a little wearing.